Pakistan and Iran both launched strikes into each other's territory this week. Neither country really wants a war with the other, but in a region where military might is the most common form of diplomacy, the tension could still boil over. Iran and Pakistan are making the same argument. The other side is providing a haven to Baluch militant groups who want to create their own country. On Tuesday, Iran struck who it said were Baluch militants operating in Pakistan. Two people were killed. On Thursday, Pakistan retaliated by striking who it said were also Baluch militants operating in Iran. Nine people were killed. Pakistan and Iran were both mad at the other side for launching the strikes, but are trying to now navigate a way through that does not lead to direct conflict. A spokesperson for Pakistan's foreign ministry said the strikes were based on credible intelligence and took out terrorists, making it clear the actions were not directed against Tehran. Iran is a brotherly country, and the people of Pakistan have great respect and affection for the people of Iran. The strikes are not happening in a vacuum. Iran's regime is under pressure to stand tough against internal attacks by militant groups, which was the explanation for Iran's strikes into Iraq and Syria. Ironically, Iran is also trying to project its power in the Middle East so the militant groups it supports, like Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis, keep doing Tehran's bidding. On the other side of the border, Pakistan's military would be seen as soft if it let Iran's initial strike go unchecked. The military holds a lot of political sway in Pakistan and can't afford to be seen as weak, not with a general election coming up in February. Nuclear-armed Pakistan also can't afford to look weak in front of nuclear-armed India. The two countries generally hate each other, and tensions between the two are always kept at a slight simmer. As far as what happens next, well, for once, the U.S. and China agree on something. Both nations are urging restraint in the region, but there's no guarantee either side will back down if their defenses are tested again.